combined robotic assisted thoracic surgery is exactly what the name says. We're going to combine the two latest technology robots together in one surgical procedure. We're going to use the ion robot bronchoscope to help reach the small target which we're concerned may be a cancer so that we can more accurately biopsy it. We're going to put some dye marking around that target to help the surgeon be able to see it later and we're going to use endobronchial ultrasound to sample lymph nodes on both sides of the chest so that we can make sure there's no lymph node involvement. If there's no lymph node involvement and we've proven cancer, then we're going to switch over to have the surgeon do the thoracic surgery using the da Vinci robot to remove the tumor. The combined procedure means that um, we are able to do the two parts of the procedure at the same time. So we're using the benefits of uh, two cutting edge technologies, the uh, ion robotic bronchoscopy and the da Vinci surgical robot. Um, at the same time and the same day, um, so the patients don't have to come in on separate occasions. Um, the benefit is that we can sample the lesion, we can sample the lymph nodes, and provided uh, there are no surprises, we can then go on to do a formal surgical procedure. This new procedure means that patients have a shorter time from the time they get the CAT scan and are told they have a lung nodule until they have a diagnosis, staging, and treatment. We're moving the ball from several weeks between the time of the CAT scan to the time of the surgery to trying to bring that down to as little as five hours. So this combined approach is better than in the past um, in that we are able to get the patient diagnosed and treated in a far more um, uh, uh, rapid fashion, basically. Um, the patients are seen quicker um, by both the interventional pulmonologists and surgeons and they go on to a definitive treatment in a shorter period of time. Patients that are at risk for developing lung cancer are mostly smokers. Patients who smoke 20 pack years or more of cigarettes. Patients who have smoked within the past 15 years or are currently smoking. And age 50 to age 80 are patients who are candidates for lung cancer screening. So what we need to do is get more patients to complete the lung cancer screening CT scan. And if you're found to have a lung nodule, then you might be a candidate for doing this combined robotic assisted thoracic surgery procedure. I think it's important to realize that um, while we're doing the procedure together at the same time, we are uh, both seeing the patient separately and assessing their uh, uh, suitability for the procedure. So the uh, pulmonary folks will see the patient, see whether they can uh, perform the uh, uh, bronchoscopy, um, and I will see them and decide whether we can do the surgery, and we're both deciding whether they are suitable candidates to have surgery. Uh, both from an oncological point of view as well as from a physiological point of view. The ideal patient for combined robotic assisted thoracic surgery is a patient who has a small lung nodule and has no obviously enlarged lymph nodes in the middle of the chest. This is somebody who could potentially be cured with surgery alone and as long as we do not think they have any involvement in lymph nodes would be the perfect patient to see us. Well, the goal is to be operating on these patients uh, as quickly as possible. As soon as the lesion is detected, um, if we can um, prevent uh, having to schedule with one set of physicians and then set schedule with, uh, with the surgeons, if we can get it all done at one point in time and we can uh, shorten the period of time between the, uh, uh, the lesion being detected and going on to hopefully what could be a curative treatment. It's very important to be able to diagnose lung cancer when it's in its smallest size, when it doesn't cause symptoms, when it hasn't spread to other parts of the body. Having a robot bronchoscope allows us to reach these small tumors before hopefully they have spread to other places. It has a combination of a high resolution CT scan that allows us to create a plan and we use our virtual created pathways to reach the target 
Sometimes this target may be all the way out in the periphery of the lung in places that are hard to reach with traditional bronchoscopes. This allows us to reach the target, stay stable so that we can biopsy it, get a diagnosis of what's going on, and to put dye around the target so that when the surgeon is doing the robotic resection of this tumor, they should be able to see it more accurately. This is especially helpful for smaller tumors that may not be as solid. The ION robot has only been out since 2020. It is a new technology. It allows for a more accurate approach to get to small targets. We've been able to reach targets that are small as less than one centimeter, seven, eight, or nine millimeters. So that technology being more accurate to reach the actual small lung nodule has allowed us to diagnose smaller lung tumors. Millimeters matter when it comes to lung cancer. If we can diagnose cancers when they're less than one centimeter, patients have the best chance for overall survival. The goal should always be to try to get the diagnosis as soon as possible and on the smallest target as possible. We now have technology to make that happen. Using the robot, we're able to perform a very accurate um, minimally invasive surgery to treat their lung cancers. So I think we need to realize the uh, benefit of the minimally invasive Da Vinci robot. That's where the uh, benefit of the surgery lies. We no longer have to do big incisions. There are multiple benefits of minimally invasive uh, surgery, um, including less pain, quicker recoveries, less blood loss, um, potentially even a better prognosis with respect to their uh, early stage lung cancers. Previously, we would see the patients separately in two teams and two different procedures. One for diagnosing and staging the target and one for actually removing the tumor. This combined approach allows us to do this as a single procedure in the operation. During one operation, the patient's gonna get a diagnosis, have their lymph nodes removed and sampled, and have dye marking put in to help localize the smaller targets, and then have their treatment for their cancer. So we're talking about diagnosis, staging, and definitive treatment all in one procedure.